Yeah, back again uh, quickly. This is the um, the old solid solar charge controller that I had. It's a PWM controller, and it is branded E Solar, but um, I'm pretty sure it's either rebranded. Uh, or the other Chinese ones you can get on eBay are a knockoff of this, but um, for some reason that work mode keeps on putting itself like a, like a factory reset type thing. It, you put it into mode, whatever it is, for constant power on, and um, after a few weeks of constant use, it just sort of factory resets to the default settings, which is, I think, street light mode. So it comes on at night and turns off during the day. So that's why I've replaced it. It does say it's 12 and 24 volt auto sensing, which seems fine. It does still charge the battery up. It just can't control the load um, reliably. And for something that is supposed to be on all the time, that's unacceptable. So that's why I've got the new Victron controller. I might just pop inside and I'll uh, show you the app on my phone while I've got you. So I've just got my tablet and installed that Victron Connect app so I can show you that uh, solar charge controller from Victron. Um, it's just a bigger screen than trying to use my mobile phone so we'll just start the app up um, it automatically detects any other Bluetooth devices around and as you can see it's picked up the uh, the one that's just outside so we'll just tap on that when you first go in to the app you need to put in your Bluetooth password for the device um, and that's a pretty standard type thing. Um, as you can see at the moment, we're producing seven watts. Uh, battery voltage is 13.63 volts. Uh, currently charging at, that's sort of fluctuating a bit. So it could have just, that radio might have just transmitted, which is why the load sort of jumped up and around the place. Um, it's settled back now. We've got about half an amp going in there. Current state of charge is in float mode and the load output is currently switched to on. Now the standby current for the radio is only a few milliwatts. It only drives the screen and that's uh, an LCD screen so use uh, liquid crystal sorry so it uses almost no power anyway. And the uh, actual weather station itself is something like 30 or 40 milliamps um, in its normal condition. Um, if you tap on the history button, you can go in and see what's been happening since I first started this up, which was eight days ago. And it'll give you an average of pretty much everything you've got. So total consumption used solar yield um, when I installed this it was in the afternoon which is why the yields quite well almost non-existent battery voltages are displayed the highs and the lows um, the uh, solar wattage and volts maximum on the panel and you can scroll across shows you any errors that have been happening over the last four errors and that's pretty much all there is sort of a bit of a handy thing um, you can clear the history I don't know how long it runs for or how many days you can have um, in in the memory but I suppose that's something I'll find out soon enough um, you can also export it to uh, a spreadsheet so you can put it into um, a spreadsheet to keep track of your history and you can go into settings um, the there's different charging modes 
you can set your absorption and float voltages you can put it into equalization mode if you need to um, it's got built-in temperature compensation uh, maximum charge current for this device is 15 amps but it'll, it'll never get there there's only got a 20 watt solar panel on it um, it's got auto detect for the voltage um, so it's pretty handy let's go back and on the load side of things so you can go to uh, the different settings for the load so it can be always off um, conventional algorithms always on user defined I haven't gone into that basically I just want the thing on all the time so um, unless it goes um, under voltage and I can't remember what that's set at but um, I'd have to have a look in the manual but um, at the moment it's set to this battery life algorithm so that if the battery voltage does go down too low it'll turn the load off but automatically turn the load back on after the voltage recovers um, street light mode and you got a transmit and receive port but at the moment that's not used um, because the uh, Bluetooth device plugs into that port so and that's pretty much all there is to it very handy to have be nice if it was uh, Wi-Fi and you could remote access to it, but unfortunately you can't but uh, Them's the brakes All right, that's it. I might actually put this up as a part two I'd say um, Just to keep the two uh, videos short. So I'll just call this one an introduction into the charge controller um, And I'll do a follow-up later on once I've got that wiring and everything tidied up and the new battery box mounted up and all that on the weather station Right, YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, just chuck them into the uh, comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And enjoy the rest of your day. Hooroo.